Hey everybody, uh, just another tutorial in these so few days. This one's a non-project tutorial. It's more of a protected computer type of tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to download the best antivirus software. And it's all free, and it's all legal. I personally have several different ones that I run at different times, so I'm always protected. By running different antiviruses all at the same time, you're basically asking it to do the same thing, and the viruses can't really truly be found. So, if you'd like to download some free antivirus, here are some of my suggestions. First, we have Super Anti Spyware. And just go to their website, I'll include a link in the description. And on the page, you'll see it says Free Edition Download. All you gotta do is set up the download. It should start automatically unless you have a pop-up blocker like me. And then you can just go to download file and save the file. It's that simple. Alright, next on my antivirus list is uh, Malware Bytes Anti-Malware. I've been using this for about two to three years and it almost always catches the extremely bad files. It's truly very helpful. So you just go to that website go to the download free version download now and it'll start downloading automatically and all you gotta do unless you have a pop-up blocker right click press download file and it should start automatically and you can run save I save it obviously because I want to have a, the program on my computer itself another one you might want to try is one I also do like it's Spybot Search and Destroy. They also have another website. They want you to click your language and location, all that good stuff, you know. So all you gotta do is go to download it. It's on the page. Click it. They want you to donate. You don't have to. Uh, so just go to download Spybot Search and Destroy. Click one of the links it gives you. Security wants. Let's just say that you'll have to go to that website click the download button and bada bing it'll start downloading and then unless you have a pop-up blocker it'll block it but then just click download file and you have it fortunately with Windows 7 you have the chance to have Windows Defender Windows Defender has caught several things on my computer that I don't even know how the hell they got on there but it's called several things. And you could just go to the Windows website and it gives you the option, I believe, to download unless they just tell you to update. Get it now, it says. Yeah, just click get it now and then click download. I'm not going to try downloading it because I already have it, so I'm not going to risk screwing up my computer at all. So once you're there, just click download. And bada bing, you can save the file. And there you have it. The final program I sometimes use, not as much, is Avast Free. Just go to their website and just search in Google. I'll include the links in the description. Go to the website, go to Free Antivirus, and click Download. Click the No Thanks if you want the free version. Download it, and you got it. There's another section of this tutorial that I want to teach you all. It's something that I didn't know originally until I had to get my computer fixed. And it's a program that deletes unnecessary files. Not like files like video files or something like that. These files are like the excess files that should not be on your computer. And by this, you can delete internet files, for instance. Possibly files that you didn't even know were there. Sometimes it'll clear 50 megabytes, sometimes it'll clear several hundred. The several hundred ones always make you feel good, but that makes you think, how the hell did this get on there in the first place? So, for this one, this one's a little different. Go to download.com and type in C cleaner. It's just C with cleaner after. You go to the first one comes up, just click download now. It'll take you to the page. And it'll give you the option on your net browser to either download it or not. It'll pop up and you can save it. Let me just open my C cleaner now. Let's see. I'll just run it for you since I have to do it anyway today. Might as well run it now. Alright. 
it may give you the option to do you like the as administrator do you want to open this program or not and so as you can see on the left side it gives you several options such as Internet Explorer Windows Explorer system advanced and then you can go to applications and delete certain, certain stuff off of your like programs it really does help because you'll notice that you can make something get memory back that you didn't even know you had. So you just click in the bottom right corner after selecting which one you want to get rid of, such as memory dumps and empty recycle bin and history, cookies, all that stuff. You don't want that on your computer. Sometimes you can get tracking cookies, sometimes you can get other stuff. Uh, that's simple. Click run cleaner and it'll run. It may take a little longer, depends on how much RAM I think. I just cleared 69 megabytes, but that's because I also did a uh, virus scan before. Just daily virus scans, I do them all the time. Yeah, 69. So you have 42 internet files, and I've only been on the internet for 5 minutes. See how this stuff accumulates after so little time? Alright. So, this tutorial has not been an exciting one by any means necessary. I'm just trying to give a little bit of what I know about my antivirus software to you. So it can help you out. It's helped me out tremendously given me great protection since I started using it about a year ago. Um, I'm planning on doing some small little reviews soon, as well as tutorials and all this good stuff that I've been doing. Possibly some baseball tutorials. I play baseball if you didn't know that, so now you know. I'm a Red Sox fan. Please don't give me shit for that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So, my next video should be a Sony Vegas tutorial maybe. I'm thinking maybe about masking or something like that. Uh, give a little bit of a run through of masking. Uh, a simple mask. Maybe I'll, do, I'll try to find a non-copyrighted picture of like Superman or something like that. Get that sort of thing going. Um, but yeah. Harry Potter tutorial should be here on Sunday. That's kind of going to be an annoying one. I'm thinking about doing a kick-ass opening titles project file. Not a tutorial. Just a project file. It'll look pretty cool. Hope you guys like that. Um, that should be out on the weekend, possibly, depends on how much time I have. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, I hope I've been of some help to you. I hope you look into the programs I'm offering. They're all free, they're legal to use, and it should be fine. So, I'll see you guys next time. This has been Remarkable Tutorials, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you.